So I'm here in this awesome, amazing view, right? So this is in New Mexico somewhere, right? So here is the Lincoln Forest. And, uh, you know, I was just in a conversation with Mani Sarkar and Hugo Sakamoto on the out-of-the-box developer. And I tried to participate a little bit on it, uh, but the internet here, you know, we were right in the middle of the mountains, right? So the internet here was not very helpful. So one of the things that I was talking about uh, in that conversation was, uh, you know, how to practice soft skills, right? So soft skills are things that require, you know, contrary to hard skills, right? right hard skills, they are hard because they, ha they are precise. They have a technique on how you do things, right? So the way you practice hard skills are you apply the technique, you practice, practice many times the technique until you're very good at technique. But soft skills are a little bit different because soft skills are, uh, you know, they're not based on a technique, right? They're, they're, they're pattern matching things, right? So depending on what you wanna do, uh, you apply different techniques, right? You have to apply to be creative, uh, you have to, to do impromptu uh, solutions, right? So soft skills are way more connected to your experience, right? Things that you did in the past, things that you work it on, you work it with, right? So you can, you can really uh, apply, right? Past strategies uh, to solve, a, to, you know, to solve a solution, right? To solve, a, to solve the problem, right? So an a few examples of soft, of soft skills are things like software development, for example, right? Software development is a soft skill, right? I mean, programming language, typing on the keyboards, IDEs, those can be hard skills, right? Uh, but, you know, uh, software development itself is a soft skill because it requires experience, requires you've done, you've, you've doing, doing things in the past, uh, require you applying different techniques to solve different problems. Uh, another important soft skill that developers need is solving problems, right? So solving problems is another very, very important uh, uh, soft skill uh, that people have. And of course, communication, right? You know, trying to reach out to other person, influence people, uh, uh, you know, convince them or listen, right? All those are soft skills uh, that, that you, that, that, and so, so what a soft skills are, soft skills, you don't actually practice it you apply them in real life, right? So the best way for you to practice soft skills is applying them in a low risk situation. That's why you develop a software for yourself, right? You develop your side projects, software for yourself. That's a great way for you to learn and apply software development, right? So you practice software development. Same way that, you know, you're gonna practice speaking. What you do, you go talk to people uh, in a low risk situation, right? Uh, solving problems, right? You solve small problems. You solve problems in your head, right? So all of those are ways for you to apply and practice soft skills, right? So that's the message I want to say. Uh, I could not say on the out-of-the-box developer. So this video here is a little compliment uh, uh, to, to that conversation. So thanks a lot, Money. Thanks a lot, Hugo, uh, and, and everyone that participated on that. So I'm going to link to the conversation with Hugo and Money below here so you can hear their opinions about this topic, right? So my suggestion to you is that go practice soft skills, go in real life, put yourself in low risk situations, situations that can really get yourself uh, uh, challenged, right? You know, different situations, soft skills you apply on different situations. So go put yourself in different situations, go put yourself on challenging situations, but in low risk uh, environments. All right, so this is Bruno Souza for Code for Life right here uh, from New Mexico, right in front of the Lincoln Forest, right? We're, um, on my way to Java One, right? So at Java One next week, I'm gonna be speaking about uh, how you can improve your career by going on beyond senior positions. I hope to see you there or see you online to discuss this topic. See ya.